Welcome, I'm Sean. In this Digital Revolution series, we'll be talking about embedded systems and robotics. Each video will go through step by step on how to create a remote controlled and autonomous robot. I'll be using a single board computer called a Raspberry Pi. We'll be coding in Python. In this lesson one, we will do the hello world of electronics by blinking an LED. You will learn how to set up your Raspberry Pi, how to connect a basic circuit with the LED, and how to blink that LED by coding in Python. What do you say we get started? I'm currently using the Raspberry Pi 4. It's a powerful little computer. When we look at the specs here, it contains a Broadcom quad-core Cortex processor, 1.5 gigahertz. It comes in a variety of two, four, eight gigs of RAM. I'm currently have the four gigs of RAM version. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, gigabit ethernet, USB 3 ports, and it's capable of outputting 4K resolution. There are actually two HDMI ports in this model here. Okay, the Raspberry Pi 4 contains 40 pins that you can interface to the outside world. We'll be referring back to this when we're connecting our circuit. As you can see from this diagram, there are 3.3 and 5 volt power output pins, general input output pins, ground, pulse width modulation, and so forth. I'm using a power bank to power the Raspberry Pi, and I obtained this kit from Canakit. It contains a breakout board for the pins. It makes it very convenient when breadboarding and prototyping. Once you get your Pi set up, you can connect to it remotely through an SSH secure shell using PuTTY as an example, or you can VNC into it. Let's take a look at the configuration before we start our project. Go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration, Interfaces, and ensure that Camera, SSH, VNC, SPI are enabled. We'll be using these functions for our project. Now I'm going to open a command window and let's look at the version of the OS that I'm using right now. You can use the Linux commands. Okay, we're using Raspbian version 10. Now there are a few packages that I want to install before we start getting into the development. And that includes the Python development as well as the GPIO libraries that we're going to be using. Now, install using these commands. sudo apt get install python dev python dev. Okay, that installs the Python packages. The next step is to install the RPI library by typing the following command sudo apt-get install python rpi dot gpio python3 dash rpi dot gpio all right once that's installed then we can get started i'm going to use gpio 21 on the raspberry pi and that will be connected to a current limiting resistor of 330 ohms, which will then connect to our LED to ground. In terms of the code structure, we're going to use RPI GPIO library. We will then define functions The main code will be in an infinite loop under while true. Here, the code will be repeated continuously. Take a look at my setup here. I have this breakout board connected to the breadboard. It makes it very convenient for prototyping. Also, I have this fan that's connected to 3.3 volt power. That will keep the Pi cool when I cover the case. When you take a closer look at my circuit, you can see that GPIO 21 is connected to the resistor and into the LED to ground. Also note that these are 3.3 volt pins. That's extremely important to know. There are my controllers, 
such as the Arduino or microchip PIC that are operating on 5 volts. This single board computer, as well as others, operate on 3.3 volts. It's important when you're interfacing devices that you are operating at 3.3, otherwise you can risk damaging the GPIO pins. And we'll talk about interfacing input devices in another video. There are a variety of compilers that you can use, such as Genie, Thani. They are pretty good debugging tools. I'm going to use the text editor for this example. I created a folder called Project. And within Project, let's create a file by going sudo nano, we'll call it blink.py. In the text editor, I'm going to write it step by step on this code here to blink this LED. The first thing we're going to do is import our libraries. Import pi.gpio, and this is case sensitive. That's GPIO. Okay, and we're also going to import time and sys. Okay, so these are libraries for the Python code that we're going to be writing. Next we're going to do some configuration. GPIO set mode gpio.bcm. Okay, so this refers to the BCM Broadcom pin numbers on the GPIO layout that we saw there. Now we're going to define our LED here. To create comments, you push pound and you write your comments. This will be LED pin that we're going to define. It will be LED, we had it on GPIO pin 21. Next, we need to set that up. GPIO set up LED GPIO dot out. Okay, so this refers to the pin as being an output pin. It's going to be outputting 3.3 volts. Now we're going to define our functions. I'm going to define a function to turn on the LED. So this will call LED on. And I'm going to have a comment just telling me that this is turning on. And to do this, hi. Okay? So here the GPIO output of LED, which is pin 21 will be set to high, it'll turn on. Okay? Now let's define the off function. This turns off LED. GPIO output LED GPIO dot you guessed it right, low. So that will turn off the LED. The pin will be a zero or a low. Now we'll create the infinite loop that we talked about before in while true. Here that code will be the main code that will be repeated. So we want to call the function LED on. This will turn on that LED. And I want to have a delay. So time.sleep1. In that bracket, that refers to the time in seconds. In this case, I like to have a one second time delay. Then I'm going to go LED off. Again, let's put in another time delay of one second. So you see what this does here, okay? Within this infinite loop here, it's gonna call this function LED on, which will jump up to here and turn on the LED, putting a high on the output. It will then pause for one second, then execute the next line LED off, which will then jump up here and turn it 
off, it'll go low, or zero volts. Then we'll have another delay, and then it'll continue repeating forever. And this is how you create the code to blink an LED in Python. Now let's execute it and see what happens. So I'm going to save it. And to run it, you would go sudo python blink.py. If there is an error, it will tell you which line the error will be in. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see to your right window there, the LED is blinking at a one second time interval. Pretty cool, huh? Your assignment is to connect the circuit here and blink the LED. Try different delays. How about 0.5 of a second? If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. In this lesson, you learned the features of the Raspberry Pi. You learned how to connect the basic circuit and you perform some Python scripting to blink this LED. We'll continue to build on this foundation with each subsequent video lesson. It would be an asset to have some background knowledge on electric circuits, starting with Ohm's law, which is voltage is equal to current times resistance. On the next lesson, we're gonna cover user input and pulse width modulation. We'll then get into motor control, and sensors as we move forward in this video series. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson.